What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert, and today we're gonna to be having a look at the very first video in a new series I'm doing called Into the Pocket. And what this series is gonna focus on is making the absolute best use of all the tools that Studio One has available in terms of quantizing anything that helps us with timing or anything that can help us with grooves and getting the actual feel of our productions to sit better. Okay, so we've got a session here, and this is a session from another tutorial that I did, and I thought I would just build upon this. In fact, it's what gave me the idea. Uh, so we've got an audio loop that we've dragged in, and then I mapped out some samples, kick and a snare sample. So the audio loop here, we'll give it a quick play. Then we've got a kick sample, and a snare. But when I play this, what I'm hearing is that these samples, even though they sound good sonically, I'm pretty happy with what they're adding to the production in terms of the character of the sound. What's happening is these are pulling me out of the moment. These are pulling me out of the groove in terms of where they're sitting timing wise, because I don't really feel like these are in sync or in the pocket with our loop. Specifically over here, I really get pulled out of this moment here. So what we need to do here is we need to set a master timing reference and then we need to quantize these actual audio events here. We need to quantize those to that timing reference. So the way we're gonna do that is using some options that we can find over here in the quantize section. So we've got a couple different options here. We've got grid and groove. What I wanna do here is I wanna click the groove tab and it's very simple. All we have to do is really just drag this and drop it right into the groove clipboard and it analyzes all the transients, does a quick detection, and then it gives us basically the groove. It extracts the groove of this audio event. Okay, so now that we have that, all we need to do now is we need to quantize our kick samples and our snare samples. We need to quantize them to this groove extraction that we had. We're gonna use this as our guide. But before we do that, let's very quickly talk about the two different options we have for quantizing. So we've got the default quantize option. And what that does is it uses time compression and expansion based on the algorithm that you have selected over here. So in this case, it would be using the drums algorithm and it will time compress or expand the audio to get it to sit along with a grid or a groove template that you've extracted. Now, the other option that we have here is quantize on track. And what that'll do is that will quantize the individual audio events over here the starting position of them. So if we keep in mind the thought of when we drag a sample in that we want to make sure that that sample is cut relatively close to the zero crossing point, what that should mean is that it's going to quantize the starting point of each of these samples according to the groove that we've extracted. So that's the option that we want to use here. So all I have to do is select this track now and I'm going to select all these events. And as a quick recap, we just drag this in here Select all the events on this. Make sure that we choose quantize on track. Keep your eye on these events here. They all shifted a little bit. We lost a couple at the end here, but I'm not too worried about that. Now let's go to the snare sample. Same thing. Select all of them. Quantize on track. Another little shift. Okay, so let's have a listen to see how this sounds now. Much better. Just as a reminder to where we started off. And. Okay, so that was extracting a groove from an audio event and then quantizing our samples using the quantize on track option so that we could quantize the actual audio events relative to the groove that we've extracted from the loop. In the next video, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into this, but in the meantime, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.